Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So you'll notice that I'm in my studio. I don't usually film in here apart from like intros, outros, but we're actually gonna be filming a whole video in here. So I have changed around my studio slash office and I'm very, very excited. So you're gonna get to see what I've moved around, what new bits I got and basically inside all my drawers, how I've like organized it so far. There will be some things that will probably change over the next few weeks, but I just wanted to give you an update before it gets messy, because it's probably gonna get messy. Um, everyone with the studio will know that as soon as you start doing anything, it just gets messy. I just had to clean up loads of paint because I was painting this afternoon. So um, enjoy it while it's tidy. So I will also be doing a paint with me later in the week. So if you wanna see some of the art prints I'm just gonna be painting, it'll be a relaxing video to watch later in the week then you can make sure to subscribe to see that um but that will be coming on friday so i'm gonna be trying out some original art prints rather than the digital ones i will still be selling the digital ones but this is just an added extra they will be slightly more because they are all individual um items which are hand painted individually um so they will be each to their own and even though they might be the same design i would be painting them again each time so it's not something that is um like printed and designed once basically so yeah i hope you enjoy and this is my new studio so this is where you come in this is your view from the door so i'm basically going to work around the room so this is the first kind of like unit that we've got so this didn't used to be like this it didn't used to have drawers um, it used to have my old desk which we cut into two pieces and then used as legs but the storage was terrible whereas now I've got six drawers. Then on top we have my heat press, my easel, then we have some holders so we've got various things in here. Um, this is like a miscellaneous so it's got things like masks, stickers, um, extra prints in there. Um, just extra ones that I've printed off then we have scrunchies um, and then I've got a scrunchie that I need to make for my mum because she wanted one done and then I have some pre-cut scrunchie fabric here and this is all cut to the right lengths then I just have some notes that I've taken and I've just shoved them in there because I wasn't sure where to put them but they're just on like cake pricing then this is just like odd electrical bits in there then we have my sewing machine, so I've got my little mat that I made and it's got a pocket at the front, so I just sit it on that. So that's my sewing machine, it is the Brother LX17, I just got some new threads, um, they're 100, 100 metres? 1000 metres, um, so I got two of those because I've been sewing a lot of scrunchies, so um, I needed some more, as you can see we have like none on there. Um, then we have two of my paintings, um, the cloud one is unfinished but this one is finished um, and then this is my pegboard up here, we have another two of my paintings up there and then this is my pegboard so I've got two of the um, like hanging rails and this is stickers, tapes, ribbons and then we've got more tapes up the top then these I'm trying to figure out what to fill them with but these are little slide out storage boxes so this one's electricals this one has patches and stickers in it um, this one's got some pre-cut little butterflies which I'll be adding into my packaging then these little boxes have staples pins and some little clips and um, paper clips as well and then in here we have whiteboard pens and just a pen pot and then over here I've got my very dirty palette I've got I think this is more pins then we have scissors hung up my mum and dad a foot of me um, with an elephant um, and then this is my like weekly to-do list this is really old I haven't updated this because I've been using my paper version um, but I need to wipe that off and redo it then we have my little logo poster up there and then this is just like my like kind of um, memory board type thing so it's just got loads of polaroids and photos on it um so yeah that is what we have on the top i also have this little bag here um which has a little rice bag which keeps it on the top there and then in this corner 
I've got some more pen pots either side and then we've got miscellaneous sewing bits so these are little buttons uh, we have some sprinkles for resin, resin in the corner, um, silver leaf, all bits like that and then we've also got some pin cushions then this is another little storage unit so I've got business cards in the top there then we have clothing tags in the bottom I have sewing bits so there's like elastic stuff like that this is all glue um, so there's things like Tipex in there and fabric glue and then these ones down here are all um, packing peanuts they've got like recycled packing peanuts where I've like taken out of packages that I've received and then I've put them in there and um, just so that I can reuse them then I have a little pegboard here so this is like my exercise log so I tick off what I've done that is my flights because we're going to Cyprus in November then I've put up this little flower wall which I love I thought I can use it for taking photos and then that brings us round to this centre table which is new so the table is new and so are the two drawers that's the only thing that's new in here um, but I absolutely love this I've already been using it loads today you will see some paint marks because I've been using it a lot so up here we have paint brushes these are usually on the windowsill over there but I've got them here because I've been using them so we've also got our water pot then this is kind of like a packing station so I've got all my sharpies because I like to write little notes then I've got my thank you notes little envelopes if I need them then we have some mailing bags stickers so there's logo stickers we've got little poly bags these are brand new they came today and you'll be excited to hear that they're going on the website tonight and they are my new enamel pins if it will focus and they're little sloths and I think they're the most adorable thing ever so I'm very excited for those um, but they will be up on the website this evening so that's my little pot of those then we have some tissue paper in there and then this again is little miscellaneous like keys um, camera covers club card like just little miscellaneous bits I feel like everyone has those little pots where they just put random stuff that they don't know whether to put anywhere else then under here we have tissue paper um, these are my scraps where I was testing out different things when I was painting earlier I've got some tapes in that back one there I've also got tapes and then this is recycled bubble wrap so what I do is if it's like in good condition and not like damaged or anything like that when I actually purchase something and it arrives I keep the bubble wrap same with this this was um, something that I bought and then it was packaged in this little bag but it wasn't actually like taped up so I managed to save it and then that just stays there so that I can hopefully recycle some bits then we just have my sketchbooks which are here because I've been using them then we have order books and my phone then if we come around here I've got some drinks because I like to have them right by my computer then in these I've got my um, business like accounts basically so it's got all of my paperwork in that then we have notepads because I love a notepad we have card and I've got thousands of colours because those are for cake toppers um, more card then we have some smaller pieces and then these are just some fat quarter books that's a little um, like drawing book then I have clipboard notepad notepad um, and then that's just some plain paper um, then we go down here again there's a couple of things where I haven't figured out where to put them yet so um, they will be going but I've got mainly cleaning products here and my Polaroid is there because I'm not sure where to put that um, and then we have some glasses as well then on the next one we have a box which is filled with craft materials it's got stickers um, any like paper mache paper all that kind of thing that's all in there and there's a little notepad on the top I've got a couple of vinyls here um, which I'll be keeping this is Cleo's so it's just boring this is a filing um, kind of like folder um, which I used to use but I haven't been using recently so I need to find something to go in that then under here we have more craft stuff so these um, two here are old clothes that I want to either amend or I want to turn into something else so that's why they're in those two boxes 
Then in here is um, play related kind of big accessories which I can't fit in a drawer. So like the rolling pin for example. Then we have some little fairy lights which I'm hoping to put up very soon. These boxes are some craft kits which I need to actually work through because I got them like a year ago at craft show and I haven't had time or like just haven't been able to make them so I need to do that. At the end there is um, wool and like knitting supplies and then we have some table legs there which is for a little coffee table which I can't fit in here currently so I'm just putting them under there and the actual top of the table is behind my chair just in case I decide I want it in a little while um, you know over the next like few months I decide to add it in um, and then we've also got some empty files down there so they're just like binders which I'm not using um, and down the side we have a palette uh, which I also use for clay so I clean it and then use it for rolling out clay but you can also use it as like a paint palette then we just have my bin under here Cleo has just joined us and I've just realized I forgot to show you a few bits over here so um, I'm gonna bring you back over here I'm just gonna go through the drawers so in the top drawer we have fabric all organized which we love um, so there's like tracing papers here uh, interfacing then we've got all our big fabrics then these are all fat quarters and here is all my scrunchy fabrics down the side then we have some wipes as well then in the next one this is miscellaneous so it's basically craft supplies so we've got oil pastels uh, I think they gouache I think is how it's pronounced but they're more paints uh, I've got some varnishes and mediums, some colouring pencils, lots of clay bits in there. Then we have some sewing patterns in this box. It's all kind of organised in its own little areas, but it's lots of random things to put into one drawer. And then in this bottom one is big things. So I've got lots of canvases in here. So we've got things like this, um, some old paintings that I've done under there and more canvases underneath. Then I've got a few boxes which I wanted to keep because I want to reuse them hopefully. I've got these which are so Hayley Jane boxes from my mum but I thought they'd be really good postal boxes and again it's just like trying to recycle rather than just throwing them away. So I thought maybe I can reuse them and then they get like another use out of it. So I've put them in here and then I can always stick things over the labels and again with this um, a poster came in this but I thought I might be able to use a cylinder for something then under here these are their themed drawers basically so we have a popper drawer so this is all popper related we've got the actual pool um, please excuse all these marks I burnt myself when I was working for my sister doing hair and makeup so I've got loads of burns uh, from the curling iron in case anyone's worried about that then in here we have postcards because I collect postcards so I've just got hundreds in there then in the bottom we have acrylic paints and I'm moving away from acrylic paints I'm trying out the uh, gouache I think it's pronounced I heard someone say it earlier but I can't remember but I'm trying that out instead of the acrylic so I'm going to see how I go I might end up moving back to acrylic then in here we have some COVID tests, we have post-its, then we have some miscellaneous scrunchies. So these are ones that were testers and then I decided to either like make them bigger or smaller or whatever I did. But these are just some testers so I wear these myself. Then we have more post-its and then in there I currently, it's quite empty because again I'm trying to figure out what I want in there. But I currently just have my card machine in there. So that's that drawer. Then in the next one we just have some masks, we have a glue gun and then I've got some fondant roses which I got for a cake. And there were a few that I didn't end up using because she gave me extras. She sent me three extras which was really nice of her. Um, but obviously I ordered I think it was like four or five so then I didn't need the extras. So I've kept them because they last for a year. So. Um, and I only bought them in May. So 
I've got plenty of time to use those. I thought I might use them on a cake of mine, but they're just some white roses. And then this bottom one is just storage. So it's just got a few cables in for the sewing machine. And then it's got some empty storage boxes because I'm not sure what I'm using those for yet. Then we have a photo of Cleo under here, which I need to put on the wall. I just got a new frame for it. So I framed it because the last frame fell off the wall and broke. And now I need to put it on the wall. I'm thinking of putting it here. So it will go somewhere there. Um, right. Then down there I just have Cleo's bed in the corner. There she is. Um, so this corner is currently work in progress. So we have my alcohol all behind the door, which is where I hide it. Um, we have lots of travelling souvenirs here, just like various bits that I've got when I'm abroad. That is a jar of coins, like from abroad again. Then I have my sister's mannequin here for when I'm trialling hairstyles. This is full of clay plates, which are unpainted. So they're all air dry clay items which haven't been painted, so I'm going to paint them. And then I'll add them to the website, but I'm going to do some cake related designs. So I'm excited for that. Then in the top, we have all of our um, things for the heat press, which is right here. So I've got wallets for various like organising things. Then we have the actual transfer papers. Here are some designs which were already cut out because if you're using an A4 page, it wastes page to not fill the whole thing so even if i'm just doing say you can kind of see but if i'm doing a cake which is like the size of my hand i can fit four of those on one page so to print an a4 page of transfer sheet would then be a waste because you can't put it in the printer when it's cut into pieces so unless you use the whole thing it is a waste so i always print out more designs than i need so that i'm not wasting anything and then this is just silicone moulds and hair nets. I don't usually wear hair nets that often because they aren't compulsory. Um, but I do try to wear them as much as possible. Um, because like I say, it's not compulsory. So it's just if I feel like wearing one basically. And it's usually when I'm not on live because they look funny. So I don't like to wear them on lives. And then underneath is all my silicone moulds that are personal ones. And then... These three wardrobes are personal, so they're just clothes and um, I think there's like toiletries in one of them. Then this box is my cake decorating co-order. They messed it up, so I've left it in the box because I don't want to touch it. And I need to give them a phone call. And then this end one here is actually where all the interesting stuff is. So we have my filing at the top. Then we have my makeup kit, which I will be doing a video on that um, now that all my stuff has arrived because I thought that people might want to see it, even if you aren't cake makers, even if it's new um, followers who are makeup artists, I thought they might want to see what's in it. So I'll do an extra video on that. Then we have boxes in the top one. So there's cupcake boxes, postal boxes, and then we have some bags. Then we have silicone moulds. Um, I need to do another restock of these, but yes, I did an order. I think it was about a month ago. Um, I also bought all of these. Um, I bought the Wilton 2D nozzle, which I will be listing on the website because it's my favourite nozzle. I use it on every single cake at least, probably. And yeah, so I will be listing that on the website as well. And... I need to do another restock of silicone moulds. There's also going to be a few new ones coming in the next month or so because I found a couple of new ones which I wanted to try out and I thought you guys might like as well. Then in here we just have my hair dye and that is some clay um, like tools and also some actual air dry clay in there. Then in here we have merchandise. So we've got t-shirts, we've got... Um, this is a sweatshirt, so I'm going to be doing a test run of a new design on that because I've already thought of new designs, so there's going to be a few more being added last minute. Um, but that's a sweatshirt. I didn't like the sweatshirts. I preferred the hoodies, so what I thought is I'll test it out for a design and then keep it to just the hoodies and t-shirts. Then we got hoodies under here, more hoodies at the back there. 
and then this is just toiletries as you can see i have a lot of them um i need to stop buying toiletries so this bit is a very interesting we just have some bubble wrap this is wax melts um i have quite a stash and then this is again miscellaneous because i don't know what to do with it it's just lots of little bits um which yeah i'm not sure of and then that's my vase which i usually have some flowers in um and here's all my wax melts um i got some more from i got some from alana's which i'm working through i'm also work i need to take that out because um that's obviously like hardened so i need to then scrape that out to then put a new one in um but yeah i got some from um alana's soy wax melts which she sent me and then i've also just done an order for a couple more because I obviously want to work through the ones I've got before I buy any more because I have so many um, but I did also want to try out a few scents and I got one for my sister's birthday as well um, we have a little drawer unit here next to my chair which I use for like breakfast in the morning and this is again just miscellaneous I've got postcards in the top one I can't actually open that then we have notepads as we know I love a notepad so there's just loads of notepads in there I love writing to-do lists, so that's why. Then we have electricals. So this is just like battery packs, chargers, lots of boring stuff. Then we are back to here. So you've seen this. Um, now I'm going to just run through this little corner here. So I've got some prints up here. Um, this one I wasn't really sure about. I mainly got it because I wanted some kind of quote because it felt weird having lots of actual photos. Um, but yeah, I just got that. It's not actually something that I um, kind of resonate with at all. I think it's just one of those kind of cheesy quotes. But these two I really like. So this one is California and so is this one. This one's the sea and that one is, I believe it was Venice Beach. Then I've also got my little number plate here from when I went to LA then i have lots of um books basically so cookbooks and then also some like business ones these two are business ones um would definitely recommend um and then that is an actual book and then i've got more books like actual um what is it when it's not real fictional or non-fiction whichever one it is but um they're like crime books but they're not um true crime then I've got my little leopard, which I love. Um, that was my nan's teapot, so I just have that decoratively there. And then I've got some photography books up there, some more flowers, as you can see. And these are little salt and pepper shakers, um, which are little mini bands. Um, this is one of the clay pieces that I made. Um, they're little, like, keychains, basically. There will be more of those coming out. And then here's my two little donkeys and my fake plant. I love a fake plant in here. Um, then there's my computer, which is just, you know, it is what it is. Um, I've got some little pen pots here. This isn't actually filled with anything because again, I'm trying to figure out what sort of essential items I want to be right next to me. And then that brings us back round. So that is my craft room. Um, and then I've just got dressing gowns on the back of the door because I I change in here so all my clothes are in here so this is where I like get ready basically so I've just got everything that I need basically in here as well as it being a craft room and office it's also got all my clothes dressing gowns bags shoes etc um so yeah but I really like how it turned out when I redid it I think it looks a lot better um Cleo's now in her bed um here was one of the demo sprinkle posters um it's got jazzies in it but they discolored so i decided not to actually use them in the final design um but that's one that i use for myself um just move that but yeah so this is my new office space so you'll be seeing lots of videos in here and i'm also going to be using this to do lots of filming because i can sit behind it and have a tripod in front of the table which i've always wanted to do because it just means that you can use this to prepare and have a camera in front of you that isn't um, on the edge of the table. Because imagine if I had a camera here and I was sat there, it's very close to you. Whereas this allows me to have a tripod here and actually 
do various bits of work whilst filming so it's really really handy but yeah this is the new office and I do I have been toying with getting rid of this chair but every time I have a spare five minutes I do prefer to sit in that than in these tiny little work chairs which are not very comfortable so we will see there may be some changes later on but currently I do quite like how it's looking so let me know your thoughts and if there's any videos you want to see in here um, if any tutorials anything like that I will be doing a paint with me um, over the next few days I think it will probably go up Friday because I'm painting some prints as a like trial run so um, I'll be painting those right here so that will be very exciting but this is the current office space so I'm very very pleased with it but I just wanted to give you a little rundown before it gets messy again um, so I thought I'll do it whilst it's still nice and tidy. So hope you enjoyed and this is the new office. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my new studio. If you wanna keep updated with everything that I do, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell as well. Make sure you like this video and this is my new studio. So look forward to lots more videos in this room. Um, I also have a section in my wardrobe, which is just merch. So I love that as well. Um, but the wardrobe is just full of clothes. So that's why I didn't show you that bit. But um, yeah. Let's see what I can do with this room. I'm very excited and it's just a nice space. So um, before I wasn't really utilising the space very much, whereas now, now I am. So um, it's a lot nicer to actually sit in here because it's all organised and kind of like a productive space filled with all of my favourite things. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!